Walt Disney had his Imagineer, John Hench, design a feature tiki stage that would allow guests to enjoy a hearty meal while in the company of several exotic live birds. However, it was soon discovered that scenery with live action birds in place of an eatery would not be a pleasant experience. So, Disney decided to create mechanical birds. At the time, these audio animatronic birds were a new form of technology. There was no guarantee that guests would enjoy a colorful talking bird bobbing its head and flapping its wings, so Walt placed a test barker bird named Juan at Adventureland's entryway. The crowds billowed with curiosity and blocked visitors from entering the land. It was then that Walt knew that his flock of singing birds would be a huge success. The Tropical Hideaway menu offers some really good food that includes Bao Lumpia, a version of Dole Whip, and some very appetizing desserts. There is one unique Easter egg on one of the walls within the hideaway. Hanging on the cracked wall are several rowing oars. Each oar has a plaque attached to the bottom with a specific name of its owner, with each name being a member from the Society of Explorers and Adventurers. The Society of Explorers and Adventurers is a fictional organization with members that are related to many of the Disney attractions, such as Harrison Hightower from Tokyo Disney Sea's Tower of Terror, Lord Henry Mystic of Hong Kong Disneyland's Mystic Manor, B.T. Bullion from Disneyland's Big Thunder Mountain Railroad, and Meriwether Adam Pleasure from Walt Disney World's closed Pleasure Island. The man-made jungle was constructed by horticulturalist Bill Evans, while Disney Imagineer Harper Goff dug the river's path and designed the awning boats. The jungle is designed to represent several world-renowned rivers that include the Irrawaddy Rivers of Burma, Cambodia's Mekong River, the Nile River of Egypt, the Congo River of Africa, and the rapids of Kilimanjaro. Disney's special effect artist Bob Maddy had the painstaking task of creating posable audio animatronics of the wild animals that resided in the jungle. Mr. Maddy is also credited with the dancing natives. Early in the construction of the mechanical natives, Bob required some assistance from Disney Imagineer Bob Gurr. Well, Walt had his heart set on uh, a really big super attraction uh, before Disneyland was uh, built. Uh, the Jungle Cruise. The Jungle Cruise really is the first really famous, iconic ride, uh, much like in later years, the uh, Pirates of the Caribbean. Now, there was going to be a lot of effects in the Jungle Cruise, and many of those effects were developed at the Disney Studio by the Special Effects Department. Now, you got to remember, Special Effects Department, they'll make a mechanism, sometimes we'll call it a show gag, and it'll be a, usually a mechanical device, and it only has to last just so long enough to get a couple of shots and, and on the movie, and then the machine can fall apart and it's okay. So many of our first uh, alligators and crocodiles and hippos were all designed with that type of thinking. And of course, I think at the end of the first day, we were having uh, alligators, machines, all just grinding themselves to pieces with uh, sand and water and it was a big uh, uh, lesson to learn about why well, there's a big difference between a, uh, a movie gag and something that's going to run 16 hours a day. 